Hey, what's going on? It's Joey Myers from the Hitty Performance Lab, and in this short video, I wanted to go over the difference in why a, a hitter does not want to have a flat bat and wants to have more of a vertical bat. And we're gonna, what I use this demonstration with my hitters when we're teaching them when either their hands are dropping, their barrel's getting flat, and we will talk about the center gravity of the bat versus the center gravity of our own body. So what tends to happen is what I tell them is we want to find the center gravity or what we call the belly button of the bat. See, our belly button is located at our belly button, but if you draw a line through the belly button through the middle part of your body in the same distance from the ground, where those two points intersect, that's our center of gravity. So if we want to find that belly button of the bat, we do the same thing, and I'm using my, my son, six-year-old son, T-ball bat, because it hopefully fits somewhat in this video where you can see. We pinch our fingers and balance the bat between the fingers. Now if I move a little bit this way, bat's going to go that way. If I move a little bit this way, bat's going to go that way. So the belly button of this particular bat, every bat's going to be different based on the size and the MOI and all kinds of different things but the belly button of this bat is right here so what happens is when we take the belly button of the bat and we we lay it flat lay it down it's going to be behind our belly button and what we want is we want the bear we want the belly button of the bat over our belly button so a quick test that we do with our hitters to kind of show them the why is I have them hold their bat just like this if they're a righty they hold it towards the knob with their left hand. If they're lefty, we do the opposite, okay? I'm a righty, so we're gonna do it this way. So we tell them to hold the bat vertically, just like this. I know you can't see the full bat, but this is what I'm doing. So you just hold it vertically, and I ask them, what, where do you feel the weight of this bat? Where do you, how heavy does this bat feel? And then what we do is we lay the bat flat behind them, just like they would if they were to la lay the bat. You could even do it this way, where a righty would be over this shoulder, whereas a lefty would be reversed. And have them hold it this way, uh, flat to the ground, parallel to the ground, and ask them how, what's the difference in weight between the two positions of the bat and how they're holding it? And they're going to say, well, this one feels heavier. Say, so, yeah, but we didn't add any weight. We didn't take off any weight of the bat. So why is one heavier than the other? So we do that demonstration first, and then we explain what I just did in the beginning of the video of the belly button of the bat we want to place over our belly button. So that's why we don't want flat bats at stride landing. We want more of a vertical bat. It doesn't have to necessarily be vertical, vertical, but somewhat 45 to 55 degree angle. Make sure that we're swinging smarter by moving better. And before I let you go, the Hitting Performance Lab wants to know, did you know that reducing ground balls and swing and miss strikeouts has less to do with hand path and more to do with knee action? Have you ever heard, finish taller? To drive the ball, you have to uppercut. Well, we created a free video revealing the results of a scientific study that showed a reduction in ground balls of 27% and an increase in productive balls in the air of 24% over 200 swings without messing with hand path. Click here now to get the video while it's still free.